Oh, we're live. Yeah. Here we are, guys. I think we missed two days, right? Yeah. We, no, missed sorry. we missed we you. We missed you. We missed you so much. But we are unstoppable. For the record, this is a cover. This is not the official song. It's a cover. So you can't walk us. <laughs> we are unstoppable. We are unstoppable. <laughs> Yes, Vika, Dan. Hey. All right. <laughs> when Jim does this, <laughs> kill, the kill the music. All right, guys. Hey, welcome. So this is our uh, Thursday show. Which, Hello, ambition. You know, hey, ambition. Gonna... My heart. Yeah. Wow. wow. Very nice. That's Belkisa. She's in Dubai. And the fallen star. I don't know her name, but wow, fallen you guys star. Listen. That's it's beautiful adorable. too. Nika is a dancer. Okay, so listen, guys. This show, Martino does these little beautiful, uh, kind of artsy reels. I just call like them reels. a poem. Like he, it's a reel, but it's like you know. So today's was about people stopping because they get a no. Like in sales, our salesmen they stop when they get a no. People, you know, you say, oh, you can't do that. You always know, oh, stop. It's time to ignore the no and take your life to the next level, which means you're gonna to have to push through other people saying no to you for whatever reason. It's a normal, it including all the time. yourself. Sometimes people stop, hey, Gwendolyn, some people stop because they said, oh, I'm gonna go do this thing. Oh, I really yeah, can't, you know, uh, I, don't know if the, I don't know if I'm as good looking as Martino. You play all the possibilities in your you head. Know, and then I'm not as young as Martino, I'm not as good looking as Martino, hey, Anya. Hey guys, so and then by the Genesis. time you're done playing through everything in your head, you go. <sighs> so you got quit stopping yourself. So we're waiting for a friend of ours from Italy. To... And um, don't take no for an answer. Right. You know, uh, right. I think like anything, like you know, like um, anything, like Elon Musk. You know how many times he was told that what he was trying to do was impossible. Was stupid. Was absolutely. In he was beat up at school, man. Yeah. People say he'd go, hey, "I'm alive." No, you're not. <laughs> exactly. But look you, where he is today. So now that he's made it, of course, you can go, "Oh well, you know, he was able to go through it all." But so are you. Yes. That's the thing. So are you. You are unstoppable if you decide you are unstoppable. And the power of our mind to actually create our own future is infinite. You know, it's just that if we decide we can't do something, we don't do it. So, and you don't have to build a rocket ship that goes to Mars. It, whatever your purpose, your goal is, it's never. Don't ever consider your purpose or goal to be small because yeah. whatever it is, it's important for you, and you are important. So even if you're not trying to revolutionize the world by launching rocket ships to outer space, it's okay. Like you don't whatever, have to. Whatever it is. If you're just like, <laughs> every day I just want to make one person happy and that's my goal, that's, that's a perfectly valid goal. Remember the true richness, <clears throat> it, it's, it's not just money. Trust me. I mean, a guy can have a billion dollars and be miserable. It, it's, it's a combination of you doing what you love and having good friends around you all the time. And, hey. You know. <laughs> I found him out on the street and I said, dude, get in here. No. Um, it's, it's how rich you make your life. Partly is, is you've got to be driven by your own dreams. And you have to not accept no. And, and, and quit waiting for people to give you permission to breathe or live or speak or do what you want to do. No one is going to walk up to you and give you a ton of money or no one's going to walk up and say, hey, here's your dream on a silver platter. No, man, you got to go out and get it. And when you're doing that, a lot of people are going to tell you that's silly. You can't do it. They're going to they're going to tell you you should do something else. And it's not always a direct stop. But when you hear these things, just keep going. So. Sorry, I just had a knockout of message. <laughs> messages. So we're coming in there. So we put it in airplane mode. I don't know. Do we get um? Do we get a request to join you? Or? Not yet. Not okay. yet. Okay. All right. Well, it's Italian time. Yeah. So anyway, um, the main thing that I've had to go through, because trust me, you know, like I build a big success, and then someone comes in and says no. I mean, it could be the country, it could be the politics, it could be the laws change. In my business, it's it changed. It could be a friend stabbing you in the back. <laughs> it could be your girlfriend cheating on you. That's anything. happened before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to be real, man. Like, this, like, this shit is real. 
Hi guys. Anastasia, my baby. Yeah. Ah. So, so <clears throat> wherever the stop or the no comes from, if you agree with it, you stop yourself. Then the moment you agree that I can't do it, I say, oh, I don't know. It's too many people disagree with ah. me, so I don't want to do it. Man, you got to blow through that. You just have to keep moving in the direction of your goal. And you don't have to be rude. Although sometimes, you know, some people, you can be rude. But, you know, really, you can keep saying, yeah, I understand you don't agree. It's totally okay. Let's, you know, and you go do what you're doing. And people go, why did you keep doing it after I said it was a bad idea? I say, well, no, it's fine. I said, you have your ideas. I have mine. And I'm going to be successful doing what I want to do. And here's the thing is like. These people who tell you, you know, no, bad idea, you should do this, you should do that. If you persist on your goal at some point in time, they're going to give up and they're going to start supporting you. But if you let it get to you first, like before that you actually continue, you give up. If you let it get to you, it's over. Yeah. If you persist at some point, these people are going to start supporting you or they're going to get out of your life. Yeah. Or you won't see them again. Yeah. The, the, the thing is, you really, truly are unstoppable as long as you believe in yourself. And if you believe in yourself, you will keep pushing through all the no's. It's just only, the only person who can stop you is Martina. No, me. <laughs> the only person who can you. stop you is you. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we, you know, people tend to go, yeah, but I couldn't do it because they, them, them, those guys, that thing, that barrier, no. Those things are barriers. But but it's only stopping you if you agree that you can be stopped. See, you just got to disagree. And you can disagree in any way, shape, or form you want to. Yo, Frank. Hey, Frank, what's there's up? A, the Frank's a disagreeable mofo. Let me tell you, man, this guy is super successful. He, ha I, I you know, met him years ago. Love this guy. He's big heart and just has created a beautiful life. Because he didn't agree with anybody else saying, no, you can't do it. Anyway, so nice to see you, Nobody Frank. ever achieved anything by trying to gain agreement by everyone. Someone's right. always going to disagree. And here's another tip, too. You can take action. You can get more passionate about your goal or whatever. But try to envision you already having achieved that goal. In other words, be, right. be certain and positive right. about it. Exactly. So... Anyway, I'm just checking. Wow, you guys are so awesome. Thanks for all the wonderful comments. Guys, we love you. We love you. And, Thank um, you so much for all your comments and all your hearts. We're seeing all these hearts explode. There they are, the hearts. Thank you so much. I'm telling you, every every time we do this, me and Jim are like, look, even if one person, if one person sees shows this up, we'll and be happy. smiles or is happy, we're, we're done. We, we've, we've met our quota. You know, you in order to get to the top of the mountain, you have to take the first step. And that first step is saying yes to yourself. Say yes to your I own like dream. That. You like that? I like it. We I just need made to coin that right we, now, we, man. We I just made it just right now. Wow. We do this all the time. We coin stuff. People go, how do you come up with the ideas to talk about? We don't know. We just start the live and then we start talking. Yeah, we're inspired by you. And I was um, inspired by you today. I saw this. You know, I saw your thing with the beautiful background and like your voice is so like, uh, your voice is so calming. But you know, the words are like, <laughs> <laughs> I love his voice. Great voice. Amen. Yeah. So, but, oh, there we go. There's, there she is. Ludovica, Chaludo. Friend, Chaludo. So, um, request to join. That's so, be certain in what you're doing. View yourself as already having achieved it. Don't take no for an answer. Don't let people discourage you. Don't stop because you're unstoppable. And just, just keep going. Whatever your goal is, it's worthwhile. It doesn't matter what it is. It's worthwhile. Go for it. Exactly. Ludovica, I think you have to request to join, right? Yeah, so we, we do. We want to try and get a guest here for you. Special guest. Because we thought amazing. maybe you would have like... No request. Maybe okay. you're tired. You're sick and tired of us too. <laughs> there we go. All right, we're going to bring this... Oh, yay! Beautiful. From Ludovica. Ludovica. Not Ludovica. Let's see what happens. Okay, we're trying to uh, let her in. There we Whoa. go. Oh, here I am. <laughs> this is the, I just got out of bed look? Jesus. <laughs> yeah, because I just. Yeah, up. I mean, yeah, I just woke up for my power nap here. Hi, guys. Hey. It worked. Ciao, Bella. <laughs> Ciao. Guys, How is Florida? How is Florida? She's an amazing person, and you can see she's beautiful. And um, so Very we thought successful. Very to have successful. her join us and give us some of her story and what she thinks you should do to become successful.
Yeah, what, what, yeah are, think... what are some tips? Okay, oh my God, they're like super fast. Uh, I think... <laughs> because we were talking <laughs> for 10 minutes. Think, we can keep talking. Yeah, we'll we, we keep you guys are right. rushing me. I just woke up. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, I mean, I asked the guys to, like, I wanted to join this topic today because I think it's very important, especially for young people. Uh, you know, I wish I had more advice when I was very young about how to be successful, how to be very, like, uh, motivated. I think I have a lot to learn. I still have a lot to learn, but I think uh, how what Martino was telling us today is very important is to like keep going. Like no matter how many people are telling you you can do it, just do it double. Like continue to do that. <laughs> you know? The double. Yes. It's very important. Yes. And uh, because I think we all are gonna find people that are, doesn't, that are afraid of something or they don't want to take risk if it doesn't make sense. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. they're like, they're just like advising you. Maybe they're not, they want to protect you somehow. They're not necessarily bad people, but just like giving you an advice. No, I don't think you should do that because maybe they would not do that. But like you, it's you, like I'm Ludovica, you're Martino, you're Jim, like you do it. If you want to risk, you do that and continue to like to grow because it's happiness. happiness. Yes. Growth is happiness. That's that's the truth right there. Just keep growing your life. I saw yeah. a meme today. I saw a meme today. It was so good. It says, people are talking behind your back about you. That's good because they're behind you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I mean, yeah, I saw I saw that like it was a meme on Instagram or something. Yeah, it's very, yeah, it's very funny. Like they're talking behind you. I mean, they're, they're there. You're here. Just going. Yes. And even if they're in front of you, just keep going. It doesn't matter. It, it, you know, don't accept criticism of yourself. Just don't accept it. You don't have to. I mean, yeah, exactly. I, I think it's, it's very, sometimes it's hard because maybe, maybe there's so many people like that. So, and especially for someone, that's why I'm saying it's like, it's very important for young people. You know, you guys are younger, so you can understand. <laughs> Oh, I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Mind my gray beard. Oh, my God. I just turned 61. Oh, my I, God. You look amazing. Thank you. I feel like I'm 23. I know I don't look like I'm 23, but I feel my heart is like, you know, a young kid. Yeah. Oh, my I God. I, I, I was kidding. My, I have a black humor. Life. <laughs> Sorry. Go I ahead, was... Luke. Say that again. Not like I'm saying I have a black humor, that's why, but I was kidding. How old are you, Martino? No, I don't talk about my age because it will affect my single I life. think guys want to know. I think the guys here following us want to know. <laughs> I'm 36. You're 36? You're, no, I'm kidding, guys. You're, we are also young. We have so many things We're to young. do. We are young. And what's your tip? What's your tip to be successful? My tip is never look back. Enjoy your life. Keep going. Live your dream. Don't let anybody discourage you. Like, I'm telling you, like, there is nothing more important in life than being happy and doing what you like. No matter, like, Every I'm day. telling you, like, money, like, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, money can buy you a nice car, a nice house. But at the end of the day, you're going to be sad as in that car or in that house if you're not living your dream. Yeah. And for you, Jim? You know, I... I've had fun my whole life, but when I started my company 24 years ago, it was because I decided that I was not going to let anybody stop me anymore. Because I always kind of listened to people and I took advice, mostly which said I couldn't do what I wanted to do. And I finally said, boom, that's it. But I've had so much fun with my company and it's been up and it's been down and it's been crazy. But you know what? I love my office. I love coming to work every day. And I now love you're happy. Pool. Thank you. I love, I, I love my life. I have the best wife. I've been, I mean, my, uh, my married longer than he's old. <laughs> I have the best husband because he just texted me like, is that the mint in Italian? So thank you so much. He's following, uh, he's following uh, us. Sorry, which, which, <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? He what? What, what Martino says, because uh, it comes and back and forward. The I, I said, you know, you have a good husband when he learns your language. 
Oh, yeah. I mean, he has so much to do. We've been together yeah. since three years and there's so much to do, but yeah. <laughs> he's, he's stuck in Milanese. He's stuck in Milanese because I'm Milan. Milan. <laughs> oh, wow. That's even harder than Italian, right? Yeah. Now, if he starts to cook Italian, then that's another story. <laughs> I mean, no, it's okay. Like I can cook guys in, in the I have at home, like I, it's better I cook. And also like, I wanna l let you see that I'm having a cappuccino from Starbucks. Oh, wow. In Italy. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's okay. You make Starbucks all the time. No, I have a Starbucks cup, but I make my own coffee. Oh, wow, with the mocha? With the Starbucks cup. <laughs> I would just... Okay. But we're going up topic, we're going up topic. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, the point is, yeah, um, yeah, like, and also, like, and also, I think it's very important, you know, like, because you are going to have always people to, like, say, you can do that, you can do that. I think it's important that throughout life, you surround yourself from, by people that think alike. They are very like motivated they're very positive they're very like they support you i think it's very important that you don't want to have friends that are very like uh, no why you're doing it or you know yeah. or jealous or always antagonistic i think what you just said was one of the most important things is is to get your your closest group you know and snoop dogg i just saw snoop dogg say this he goes you know he goes, I have millions of friends, people really that I really like, but I have like 20 closest people who've been with me when I had nothing. And they love me when I had nothing. And they love me when I have lots. And we hang out in my house and it's safe. And they never put me down. And I was like, Snoop Dogg. That was, it was just a beautiful moment. Everybody has that, yeah. And I was like, yeah, because I have my posse. I mean, I have my closest people that I tell my dreams to. Listen, don't tell your dreams to everybody because that gives them more ammunition to pick at your dreams and, you know, and give you advice. And give you advice. Yeah, yeah advice. Let me help you, Ludovica. Let me help you. And then you're, <laughs> and you're like, ah. Let me help you. You shouldn't do that. Or you should have, or let me help you. If I was you, I would have probably do blind. Yeah. It's very, it's very tricky because sometimes we feel like we are, we have, we are friends with someone and we're like, oh no, he suggests me something. He's advised me something. Um, but like, you know, I use it as a test. I lately I've been using as a test, uh, watching how people suggest me something, uh, friends, mm. you know, because and you realize that the people that really love you, friends that really love you, they're gonna always say, keep going. I want you to succeed. I want you to be happy. And no matter what you're gonna decide in life, yeah. while people that are like against you, they're gonna probably say, oh, why did you decide X, Y, Z and not what I, I asked you to, you know? Yep. Yeah, you know what, I, I said, I have a test uh, that for me personally, because sometimes, you know, people have a beautiful package when they deliver their advice or their criticism. It's in a beautiful package of help, help, help. But then it turns into garbage or it turns into like you're worse. And I said, you know, if you keep track about how you feel after a conversation with someone, if you walk away immediately, just assess, look at do I feel inspired and more alive? Do I feel like my heart beating and my blood pumping after I talk to this person? Or do I feel like, oh, yeah. Or you waste time or you gain time. Yeah, yeah. So it's like if you walk away from a conversation and you feel worse, keep track because sometimes even your best friend has something bad to say and you feel bad for them. But, you know, people who constantly always make you feel smaller or worse, you need to keep track of this. I'd say keep it track in your little in your calendar or your diary. Hey, I was with Joe. Every time I'm with Joe, I always feel worse. Oh, interesting. No matter what he says, I just feel worse. And when I'm with like when I'm with Martino, I literally I told him I said it's like you're you're like my mirror <laughs> image. You're an app. You're super happy. Yep. Exactly. And I would say like for that reason, be very open to meeting new people and being like be open about it. And like like Ludovica and Jim said like. Uh, you can you let can me with you. Yeah, me exactly. Yes, and we <laughs> Yes, we met last night. Me and her. <laughs> it was a very 
love bomb. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Thank you guys. But also like I want to also it reminds me something that is also to be like you know keep track of how ethical you are in life. I think it's very also good. Yeah. And I think people can come advice. back when you're not ethical. That's right. Yeah. I believe in I believe in karma a lot. I believe in karma. So me even too. if you do something that's a little bad and maybe you can get away with it, then another one that is going to come back to you at some point. And, and from a different direction. Because, yeah. because you know, you know you did these things. So <laughs> ethics is very important. Keep it straight, be honest with well, people. Yeah. Be honest, communicate it even like and honestly guys, there also in another important thing, everybody can commit mistake in general. Like we are humans and we have our flow and it's okay it's just like how you communicate it and how you fix it that, that makes your the difference that's the key if you make a mistake say i made a mistake and fix it not say oh i made a mistake oh it's martino's fault i i didn't it's always my i had fault nothing to do with it <laughs> like you you give the fault to him you blame it to him that, that that's good uh, i can tell okay, you I, that. Okay, joking. I, Bring it here. Bring it here. If you guys have mistakes, blame it on me. I think it's very important that people are going to see in time how big it's your person if you take responsibility of everything, the good things and the bad things. Yes. Right? Yep. I agree 100%. It is a successful action. Because otherwise, when you're growing a business or a career, if you keep blaming other stuff, you won't grow. It's not, you won't grow and you won't be happy either. So yeah, you just, maybe you like you're growing and then right and if you have like to... cut short you i don't want to cut short you if the signal goes bad so i don't want to interrupt you yeah. the signal it's it's a, it's a signal don't worry about it but so... i would say that maybe you are the person that people want to hang out with because you give energy to that person so if you love people and you you admire them let them know it makes a world of difference like just call someone today and be like, I just want you to know you're important to me and I love you and you're amazing. You would make that person's day. You have to tell people yeah. that they walk around thinking this all the time. Like, I, like not everyone's like me. I just walk no, around, no, I love no. myself. I'm so amazing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, some people do. <laughs> I do like this all the time. What's wrong exactly. with that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I I actually have problem with that. But yeah, like it's it's very important and I think um I think it's very like now people don't do it anymore really often. I see it like especially in Italy because of the situation we were talking with Jim earlier. Like it's very heavy sometimes, but people don't do it and I think it's to be, you know, like you know what I love about uh, about um, America and also like London has the same type of culture is to they people are very open up and also like when you when you get in a cab or you like arrive in a shop people say how are you mm. maybe it's an habit maybe but they don't want to hear nothing but I don't care because it's a beautiful phrase and it makes my day yeah 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 like you go to a grocery store and a guy says, oh my God, I love your necklace. Or a girl, even we're better for women, says, oh my God, I love your necklace. It's beautiful. Oh, where did you buy this sweater or something? And it makes my day. And some Italians people are saying to me like, wow, but like it's a fake friendship. I'm like, I don't want to be like, I don't necessarily have to be friend with that person. But it makes me happy because it she just brings joy joy to my to my day and it's much better than hi how are you <laughs> that's your coffee <laughs> you know <laughs> well i was gonna say one of the best ways if you ever want to be a little happier or you're you know you got bad news is to go out side and go find somebody and find something about them you like and tell them what it is i mean whether it's your hair your beard your necklace it doesn't really matter but don't don't be fake be true you know, yeah. and when you do this and you see the smile, the person goes, I did this the other day to a lady, a little older lady, you know, and I just said, wow, I really love your blouse. And she was like, uh -uh. she she was like, oh, <laughs> said, I know, people are not used to anymore. I swear, I would say that every time you go somewhere to like a coffee shop or a grocery store, make it a goal to walk out with like two friends, two new friends, or at least two one, new friends. maybe one, just one new friend. 
say something nice to somebody, say something like, you know, start a conversation with someone you don't know. If that person doesn't like it, fine, find the next guy, talk to that guy. You're going to find somebody on the same level for sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it brings, I mean, I do, I do it all the time. I talk with Waltz if I want, if I can. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so uh, people think so, it's okay. Yeah, I'm talking with a wall. But that's all right. <laughs> What's going to yeah. happen? You're talking to a wall, and then someone else is going to come right next to you and talk to the same wall, and then you're going to look like, yay! <laughs> yeah, that's my new friend. <laughs> Join us. Exactly. I mean, there's nothing, the truth is, there's nothing bad in, bring, in bringing uh, joy or happiness uh, or a smile or a compliment in another universe, in another person. There's nothing yeah. bad. You can't hurt anyone like that. You just can bring something more. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's totally. And the, and the other thing is you have to learn to ignore haters. You have to ignore the, the, the people who are trying to be unhappy because most people are trying to be happy. They just need a little help sometimes, just like a little, hello, how are you? Yeah. Just like a, wow, yeah. and then boop, boop. Always. <laughs> I always says like killing, kill with kindness. Yeah. Nice. Yes. Okay. Okay. Perfect. I like it. It's you good. It. Like even kill it with no. Even if it's like it mean like not because I want to kill with someone. It's just because like even with a person is bad with you. Yes. Just be good. Yes. It's true, and they can melt. You know, you you just but if if they continue to attack, you just ignore. You know, I, yeah, I, and if, yeah, that's why they make a block button. <laughs> <laughs> a block button, Instagram, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, maybe you have the hope that the person is gonna melt and is gonna think, oh, wow, okay, maybe I will think about it. I will think about to be a better person. Yes, well, that's what we want to do: is inspire people to to be a better person, but just also to to reach in and find that passion that you have for whatever it is. You don't have to be Elon Musk. You don't have to be, you know, uh, Richard Brink. Yeah, be, exactly. Be you. I mean, you're the most beautiful Ludovica. You're, you're a beautiful you, you know. Martino, I wouldn't change a hair on his head. The barber does. <laughs> you know, I have a cousin named Ludovica. Really? Yeah, yeah. You have a cousin? Named Ludovica. Ah, you have a cousin named Ludovica. Oh my God, yes. so it's familiar yes. for you. This, this, um, this name. Yeah, yeah, totally. I, totally. I, I, I used to hate my name. I don't know why. I think it's a beautiful name. When I was young, I had like problems so that I, I don't know why. Sometimes we create so many problems in our head, and it's it's weird, you know, because you're like, oh, I don't know how to take this cap oh my god it's complicated I, I, I cannot arrive there it's such you're like oh no I just take this cap just go exactly. just go don't think just exactly. go don't think go it's gotten me into a lot of trouble but don't think just go just go get it <laughs> just go <Yeah. laughs> trouble is waiting for you go 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 uh, so exactly. Martina went to a Martina a party the other night. Oh no! No, hold on. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> I, I want to know. I want to know. Party. It was. A, it was like a, a a charity show, right? So yeah. he goes and, and he, you know, Martino can't bring one date. He brings like three dates, three girls with him, all friends, and he and he goes to this place, meets the richest guy in the Florida, right? But a young rich guy, happy guy, and and stays out with them, and meets all these new friends, and he just, you know. I swear. He just was evening, going forward. He was just evening, making friends. One evening, like 20 new friends, all amazing people. What really amazing people. I mean, they're like, they're so nice. And we, like, I walked, I came home. I literally, my phone was full. Like, thank you so much. It was great to meet you. Oh my God, let's come again. <laughs> That's Martino. <laughs> also, you know, you know, Jim, because like, we are happy and we want to make new friends. And we are also Italians. And this culture is like in our veins. So we want to speak with everyone. We want to be the party animal of the party. Yes. I don't this know how you... English. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I think I'm Italian really inside. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you are. 
you could be. Uh, also, your uh, accent, like your Martino accent, accent is way better than mine. Like sometimes when I hear myself, I'm like, I have to just, I still have to improve. No, Udo, your, your accent voice is, is perfect, like gorgeous. Perfect. <laughs> Don't change a thing. We were saying that earlier. You were sending voice messages like, listen to that, listen to her <laughs> voice. It's awesome. really cool. I'm like, listen. <laughs> okay, thank you. You made my day. You okay. see, it's very easy. <laughs> I can walk and now I'm happier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm happy for the rest of the day. It's you true. It's, I mean, it's 7 p.m. So the day is going um, to be, to end. But... Yeah. I was very tired. I was very like, you know, when you're tired, you're grumpy and you're cold and maybe you have land and we and it's the, the moon and, you know, like, be, me, you men don't understand this stuff, but uh, <laughs> it's like, now you made my day and you're I'm happy. Huh? <laughs> it's okay. We all think that the moon can attract and when, when the moon is full, the women are more grumpy for something. Some yeah. women understand, will believe it. I do believe it, so it's okay. My wife says it's true for men too. I just haven't, I haven't felt it. When the moon is full, I turn into a wolf. You do. <laughs> that owling. <laughs> yeah. The only problem is like in Florida, there's no hill. So you do, I don't know where you're going to do this. On, the roof, oh, on yeah. the roof of my house. Yeah, he goes on the roof. Ah, yeah, on the roof. Makes sense. He's crazy. He's really yeah, crazy. Yeah, no, it makes sense. It makes sense. I mean, yeah, everybody has a wolf in their roof. Uh, it's a right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, um, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. We absolutely are so happy to, to do this live together. And we're so happy for the advice you shared because it means something. You know, people always see us too. We're just two crazy people. So we thought we'd bring like a third crazy into the picture. <laughs> so. I think it's like what you do, it's an amazing thing is to inspire people to be uh, happier, more ethical, ethical and everything. And it's, they're all amazing data and uh, keep going like this martino i love your reel so much like ah they're amazing yeah. they're amazing like it's becoming my my new habit like in the morning i love it it's very yeah. very good i told him he said what do you think about this idea I said, oh it's an awesome idea i only started yeah. to oh. yeah he just started it ah you just started it then amazing amazing like people need to feel to see these things it's very brings you know especially with this old media that are like talking about bad things and bad things and bad things you bring some joy and some hope yeah. and people hope and love it well we'll we'll continue our thing with our lives and stuff we'll we'll, we'll ask you to be a guest again in the future we really i've been a, just so you know i've been a fan of yours for several years oh really Yes, but that's I did okay. a fan of you for hours. <laughs> okay, I mean, depends on the intensity, guys. So it's okay. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So anyway, we're going to play a little song and we're going to so all Luna, dance. You have to dance with us at the We dance at the start and at the end. You're going to dance show. with us. You got to dance with us at, at the end of the show. So the music is coming on. I have to worry I can about dance off live. Like I can dance with it. Like I can see you dancing and dance by myself while nobody is watching me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Ciao. Thank you. Bye. I'll see you very soon. Bye. I love you. Bye, guys. Thank you.